Fucking bug. Yo, what's going on, everyone? Welcome to the After Hours Podcast. Uh, I'm here with Hannah. Say hello. Hello. So, you guys, we're going to be doing something a little bit new. Of course, you guys know that we are part of the After Hours DOJ, uh, that roleplay community. So, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. It's going to be kind of a, a weekly recap type of deal that we've been doing and what's been going on with the server. So if you've missed a day or so, you don't have to struggle and go through and watch a few hundred hours a month. So yeah, that is going to be kind of what this is. Uh, we may be changing up the name every now and then. Uh, so if you guys have recommendations of a name for the podcast, leave them down in the description or in the description, excuse me, in the comments below. I know, I've been doing this for how many years now and I can't do a intro properly? I know, right? Alright, so first of all, we'll just, we have kind of a list to my right, so if you guys ever see me looking over there, it's because I'm looking at my list, and uh, Hannah also has a list on her Discord, so uh, we're gonna just kind of... Oh. <laughs> Sorry for the <laughs> cut there, guys, uh, <laughs> but... Uh, Try to go back over what was just said as if it's been a minute and well, refreshers are nice for us especially. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back and forth on a few topics and we're going to just kind of throw our ideas what we think happened or, or but not necessarily what we think happened because we know exactly what happened because we lived it. But we're just mm -hmm. going to just give our input about the calls and we'll share both sides of the experience from... And Elio standpoint, my standpoint, and fire. Uh, so, yeah. Miss Anna, if you want to just grab one of your topics, and we'll just kind of go back and forth. Uh, Hannah's arrested. Okay, so we'll go this one. So, this happened... Just a few days ago. I can't even remember what day it was. But uh, basically I was going over to the station to go and talk with Miss Hannah about just anything in all honesty. And basically was told by the fire crew that she wasn't there and that she'd just taken off. And I'm like, okay, whatever. I'll come back eventually and uh, try to run into her again. Well, I ended up running into her a little bit sooner than I expected in not the greatest mm -hmm. way. So, if you guys missed that live stream, I had the miss, uh, miss honor, dishonor of arresting a Hannah Civic, uh, for riding on the, uh, the airfield. Air, yeah, in the airfield up in Grapeseed. As for one, it was only going to be like a hey, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, get off the fucking airstrip. Uh, but <laughs> she ended up deciding that she wanted to turn around and run. run. So I ended up having to get her for the felony uh, for evading, which was not fun. So, Hannah, <laughs> what happened? What was that story? What what caused that to happen? Um, I was listening to my music and next time I seen you coming. <laughs> In the corner, and next and uh, I nearly went right out in front of you. Yeah. <laughs> and I needed to slam on the brakes and turn around and speed away for you. Yeah. Which got away for about a whole five minutes, <laughs> and then I turned around, caught right back up to her, like, sup, bitch? Oh, guess what? <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, that was kind of an odd deal. And that happened right at the beginning of my live stream. And I'm not going to lie, it kind of ruined the mood for the whole um, goddamn thing. And I'm over here messaging Hannah on Discord like, oh my god, this made me feel so shitty. And <laughs> Hannah was pretty chill about it. Just like, hey, it's it's roleplay. It happens. So, yeah, that was um, basically that whole arrested thing. Deal, unless you want to add anything else on top of that. No, uh, I'm fine with that one. Okay. So, my topic, and this is the topic we're both looking really forward to look or talking about, Ride the Lightning. <laughs> oh, yes. You guys. <laughs> um, 
Oh, I'll, I'll let you start this one out. Right, the lightning. What happened? What caused the panic button? What caused the panic button was somebody was at a fire station beating up all the cars across the road. Then we seen uh, Williams truck getting beat up as well, one of the firefighters. He decided to steal it, ram it into a wall, let me run after him. Come here, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> and next time, the guy turned around and swung the baseball bat at me. <laughs> <laughs> Just think. And while this is happening, I want to clarify. I was downstairs eating dinner. I hear, because I have nice Bluetooth headset finally, uh... I hear the panic button go off right as I'm getting done. So I run into the kitchen, place my bowl down. I run up here. I come back and I'm basically out of breath because I'm, I might be skinny, but I'm an out of shape bastard. Uh, <laughs> so I'm struggling to figure out what's happened. I don't have anything to go off of. And this is basically where I step in because the guy had already fled the fire station. He went around the corner and start beating up on a box truck. So I flip around. I'm legitimately just a block down the road from where I uh, gone ten seven or away from the computer. Um, I come flying up and I see uh, one of your firefighters. I I don't remember his name. It's the gentleman that had his vehicle uh, stolen. He chased yeah. after the guy. Uh, they went down the road and. Uh, of course, the guy that has the baseball bat, he's now on top of a box truck, just beating the living shit out of it. And so I jump out of my car, and instantly I pull my taser out, and I'm over here telling him to get off the box truck. And eventually, due to his grace, he did actually jump off the box truck right up a ladder onto the <laughs> roof. At this point in the time, I'm going, oh, well, fuck, I shouldn't have. Had him got off the box shirt, this would have been easier because I would have just tased him off of it. <laughs> yeah, oh, mister, I have to go yes. climb a ladder now. Uh, decided to go climb a ladder now. So, <laughs> at this point, I have two other Elio on me, and we're, we're all yelling at him. And we're all kind of looking at each other going, The fuck are we gonna do? And one of my... Uh, lowers, uh, I believe it was Stone, he's like, hey, I'm gonna jump up on the box truck, and we're thinking the same thing. I jump up on it, grab my taser, and hit the guy about right here with my taser. He drops, I'm yelling at my other Elio to get up onto the roof. He stands back up as I'm climbing the ladder. I hit him again with the taser. He falls, and, uh, we detain him at that point. He's still resisting headbutting my officers, so I give him another tase. Because realistically, a cop can three or tase a person three times before it becomes a health issue uh, due to the electricity going through, of course, the person's heart. So uh, just to give him to like calm down and stop resisting the officer, uh, my probes are already in him. So I'm just like, ah, you know what? Hit my button. He starts freaking out again because he's, of course, he's getting tased. Um, what everyone didn't know at the time was he was absolutely under the drugs. Or under the drugs. Woo, English! <laughs> but he was under the influence of uh, methamphetamine, which is mm -hmm. just an insane drug. It will make you go absolutely ballistic. And we ended up having him trying to bite off his own lip in RP because of how just nuts the mu motherfucking drugs were so uh yeah that was uh interesting deal i ended up having to spit mask him hog tied him uh it was it was insane uh we actually had fd come out to help us uh thanks isaac again for coming out and helping us with that scene because there would have been no way in hell we were going to be able to get him off the roof unless we did one of those and just <laughs> <laughs> So, we didn't want to do that. We didn't want to kill him because, of course, he would have been hogtied and he wouldn't have been able to brace himself to hit the ground. He would have just went and splat. So, we didn't want to do that. We didn't want to get arrested for a piece of power. 
and well, of course, murder at that point. So uh, Isaac came out with the Stokes basket, and we ended up just getting him off the roof. And uh, one of our poor officers actually had to take him in as he was already peed on himself, spitting up blood, and all that beautiful stuff. So uh, yeah, right, the lightning. That is also a video that you can see. I actually went and highlighted that video. Uh, it should be in the Discord somewhere. Uh, I hope so. Uh, if you guys are not in the Discord, links down in the description. Uh, come say hi, and you'll be able to find that in the highlights there in my Discord, if it's not already there. So, yeah, pretty cool. Next one, Hannah. Uh, trailer backfire. Okay, and this one is a multi-part. <laughs> so, this, this scene went on and on and on and on and on and on go ahead hannah fill us in what happened um that was a bad fire oh, yeah. we somebody was trying to get uh insurance money for it. yep so for you guys that are wondering uh if you go into harmony at the uh, the clothing shop, there's a uh, trailer park that's right behind it up on the hill. Uh, that's what we're, that area, that's what we're talking about right now. It was caught on fire. Uh, we had, of course, a gentleman in a white, uh, I want to say old Ford, uh, called it in. And he stayed on the scene the whole time. Really suspicious. Uh, we had an incident where he was dumping off gas cans. And creating an environmental uh, issue at that point because he's dropping off gas cans. So as Hannah and her team, they're fighting the fire. I'm over here fighting the dude. <laughs> because <laughs> he's being an idiot. Um, that ends up turning into him just not wanting to cooperate with us. He jumps into his truck. I tell him to get out of it. And he fights me with it eventually uh he gets so fed up with us that he ends up taking off on foot so 1080 starts he does this big loop feel like a fucking nascar race just we're all fucking <laughs> going after him turning left taking another left and then eventually he tries to jump into um an elio vehicle at that point uh elio are trained that if someone has jumped into your vehicle shoot it is at that time a lethal uh, scenario because if they can get into our vehicles, they have access to police ARs and our shotguns. So at that point, myself, uh, Valdez, and all of the rest of the LAO that were on scene, we start either trying to tase him out back out of the vehicle or shooting. Uh, at this time, a little bit of friendly fire happened on my case. Uh, where uh, Valdez <laughs> crossed in front of me as I pulled and started drawing as he was also trying to pull his gun out and get a better line on the subject so he could shoot as well. He ended up crossing in front of me. Uh, he ended up taking one uh, round to the chest where he ended up falling, of course, as it was basically him being shot in the back and that plate is it's strong, but it hits you right on your spine. You you do collapse so uh thankfully though he was okay uh nothing actually really happened to him so yeah after the <laughs> shots fired something else happened to the poor fire department what the hell happened somebody stole the anchor yes the goddamn tanker was stolen uh so of course, fire department, you guys really don't have to uh, worry about your stuff being stolen. Be so you guys don't normally lock your stuff, do you? No. Nope. So, yeah, that was not not fun. Uh, so that ended up turning into a 1080, which went into the mountains. He ended up going off the road. And we ended up chasing him through water, rain, hell, uh, just to be able to get him. And that ended up also with the gentleman getting shot. And I don't even know if the gentleman even lived because uh, we, at that point, were 
kind of shot to kill because uh, he'd gone so long and I'm pretty sure he was turning aggressive at some point too. I'm pretty sure it's the only reason I could see that we uh, were to shoot to kill. So, not fun. Um, What's the next thing? Whose turn is it? Mine? Yours. Mine. Okay, I guess we'll, we'll talk about the other panic button as we've gone over yours. Mm-hmm. My 1099. This was a really, really, really scary day for me and for BCSO. Uh, so I'm getting out, Sandy. I just was going to wrap and gas. I was in my my Tahoe, I believe. Uh, or was it my Tahoe? No, it had to, it had to be my Tahoe. So I'm crossing onto East Joshua from the. Uh, Sandy uh, deal by the gas station and a yellow in color uh, Dodge Ram ends up getting head on with me targeted complete targeted uh, instance my truck ends up spinning around thankfully it's what probably ended up saving my cops life uh, the moment I turned around there were shots being fired at my uh, character really 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 scary uh, in the panic Bella ends up grabbing her uh, taser out of her pocket or out of her holster tries to shoot back of course it's my taser have to swap and start putting fire down myself at this time I'm yelling over my radio saying 1099 1099 um, officers being shot at um, McKean was pretty instant would be like hey where the fuck are you and I'm too busy trying to chase after the guy shooting back doing all that trying to protect myself and to just in this chase as fast as possible where uh, he ends up getting onto uh, Sonora Freeway. Is that the right freeway over that mm-hmm. way? Uh, right. He takes off right, uh, basically heading back towards uh, Los Santos where King of One uh, was already out there. He was ready. He had his AR out and just started just annihilating that truck. Uh, so he makes a break off road towards... Uh, the human labs or the humane labs not human labs that's totally different location (laughs) but uh he made a break to the human labs where he ends up ditching his truck just out in the fucking woods basically and we searched for him for a long time we could never find the guy and then some really kind of sketchy shit happened where uh the same guy that was just shooting at me i'm pretty sure as another character came onto scene saying that he was a humane labs worker, that his vehicle was stolen, blah, blah, blah. It was really sketchy, but we didn't have enough evidence for him. We'd gone over the gunshot residue test and all that, and just we couldn't cite him. But uh, ended up that his mate, his boss, uh, Terry Larry, had uh, exempt plates on his truck, so we ended up towing it at and so the guy had to walk home, which was really shitty because we're basically, if you guys know the uh, GTA 5 map, we're out in the buttfuck middle of nowhere, basically. And the dude's having to walk home. So that really sucked for him. Uh, but yeah, that day my character was basically in a state of shock that she basically had a hit put on her that completely failed. Uh, so... Again, I want to say a lot of that just simply is because my truck got turned around and the, like, plastic uh, divider between LEO and prisoner in prisoner transport, I'm pretty sure that saved my life. So, because uh, Hannah was just getting on shift for that hand. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, luckily, nothing happened to my character besides some, uh, well... Not just some, but really big freak out. <laughs> because she quite literally thought she was going to die that day. Mm-hmm. All right. Go ahead, Hannah. What one are we going to talk about for you? Um, you know, uh, the state U-turn. Oh, the U-turn. <laughs> Ooh. So... This is kind of another two-parter. This is mostly, well, uh, my topic because it's LEO 
So mm-hmm. I had a steam state uh, truck again on East Joshua pull a U-turn. No emergency lights on. Uh, no turn indication. Nothing. Just pulls off and then just whips the fucking truck around. Of course, me being a st- or a BCSO unit, that is my area. That's my county. Uh, I know we have jurisdiction put in place now, but that still is BCSO. That's their area, basically. Uh, the police and those guys, we just allow them to be out there at this point. Um, of course, we don't really have a choice to let them out there or not, because we don't have a big enough server if you guys want to join after our DOJ. Link in the description. 15 years of age or plus. Have a working mic. And TeamSpeak. Come join us today. Oh, <laughs> I see that plug. Really good, wasn't it? Um, <laughs> it wasn't really great, but um, he he flips a U-turn. I, of course, I flip around on him. I pull him over for an illegal U-turn. At this point, I walk up to him like, guys, really? You're supposed to be like the top, top dogs, and you guys are pulling illegal U-turns in front of the BCSO. Uh, at that point, I was a sergeant. I since have gotten a promotion to a lieutenant, so that's really cool. I can start rocking my unmarked, or not unmarked, but... Uh, my slick top vehicles, which I will be here. Uh, so if you guys see tonight's patrol, and you guys see that I have uh, slick top, it's just simply because I've got a promotion. More than likely, it'll be addressed here as well uh, on the stream. So of course, that will be like the day before. Uh, we're recording this on the 26th of April. So hopefully, you guys were able to catch that uh, stream. If not, then. You guys know now already that I got a promotion. Uh, but yeah, so I ended up just telling him, hey, don't fucking let me see that shit again. Like, I gave him a warning. I was being really chill. I flipped back around because I was going to the fire station to go and chit-chat with, of course, Hannah and those guys. Hannah's mic is freaking out. Excuse for that. Uh, yep. <laughs> but, oh, there we go. Yeah, fucking angel. Yeah, as, as normal. Uh, but... I ended up flipping around, went back towards the fire station where I then see a motor unit. Of course, state is the only division or department with a motor unit. And if you guys want to get into state, you have to join either BCSO or LSPD uh, before you can get onto state because you have to basically prove yourself in the sub department, as I like to call uh, BCSO and PD compared to state. I just call them subdivisions. Uh, Because we technically are a lower than state. So, uh, I pass by the motor unit. I am just kind of looking back. Oh, that's weird. He's not normally out just on the side of the street. So, I flip around. Because, of course, it's my character. I always try to make sure that everyone's okay. So, I flip around and then flip around again onto the state person. and Be like, hey, are you good? Uh, he was doing like paperwork or something. He's like, yeah, I'm, I'm all right. What the hell was that with the state department? And I'm like, I got him for an illegal U-turn right in front of me. And he's like, oh, is that true? And I'm like, yeah. And he's like, okay, well, I'll deal with that. And I'm like, yeah, it's all right. It's nothing major. It didn't cause an accident or something. I just didn't like seeing that, you know, because there's like a parking lot, probably a hundred meter down the road that he could have pulled into and like come to a complete stop uh in instead of hitting the fucking dirt and then flipping around so i'm talking with the state uh motor unit and what do you think two three minutes later yeah fucking the truck that i just stopped pulls in behind us lights us up blocking the traffic on what is that sea view i believe is what it is i see view road so they have their back in, in the road, light us up, because we're on the side of the street, parked, uh, like, completely off the fucking street, and walks up to us, just, what are you guys doing? I'm like, I'm making sure that your guys are okay. You have an issue with that? And they're like, oh, well, you shouldn't be parked here. And the state, they're uh, higher up, starts laying into them. And they're like, oh, are you uh, getting after my rank? Are you threatening our rank? And... At this point, they get so pissed off because the head, or I believe he's one of the heads, was defending me because I had done a legal traffic stop. 
and they're just trying to get retaliation and stop me completely illegally because there is no uh, issue with us being on the side of the street. So that was a uh, that was a really shitty scene for them, especially because they ended up getting into trouble, and me and the state head, or I believe he's a state head, uh, we just kind of sat there and laughed about it. Mm -hmm. So, what next, Miss Hannah? I have coffee. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> if I have coffee. God damn, when we tell you guys that Firehouse Coffee is the best damn coffee, it's because it is. It's magic, I swear. Like, I don't know what you guys do to your coffee, because, like, the coffee <laughs> over at the BCSO, just right down the fucking road, it tastes like uh, absolute dog shit compared to what magic blend you guys have. Like, I don't know what this <laughs> is, but it's fucking bullshit. It's, this is what it is, actually. It's just, it's complete bullshit. Um, <laughs> but we had a... We had a scene the other day. Um, it was kind of what the firehouse coffee deal was. Uh, there was a there was a meet there was a meeting that I just I didn't get the fucking letter of just like hey you're invited. Uh, I didn't get that apparently, or I just didn't check the mailbox or something. I come rolling up to the fire station. There's like fifteen fucking people there, and I'm like, where the fuck's my invite? Like the fuck? Come on, guys. Um, so I get there and. Um, people are bitching just oh you can't get me coffee blah 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 um, hold on okay sorry I'm for you guys that are wondering, I'm actually trying to get a job right now. I have two jobs uh, that I have basically interviews for. One today that possibly could happen. They're having to talk to the landscaping company and just be like, hey, can you overlook certain few things uh, for me to be able to work for them? So uh, hopefully uh, if there's something that I'm going to have to really take a long time to, I'll try to cut it out. Uh, but back on to the situation at hand. I pull up, and fucking, they're bitching and complaining that the FD aren't being their maids and going and grabbing them coffee and yada, yada, yada. Me being the smart person I am, I went and grabbed my own coffee from the firehouse. I come out, fucking cup in hand. <laughs> cup in hand. <laughs> Just, and they're over here. Fucking, I, I stand by the FD people and they're like, hey, look, she can go grab her own damn coffee. Why can't you guys? Um, and they're like, oh, because we blah, 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 blah. And, um, fucking, I don't even remember who it was. I believe it was Isaac. He's over here like, yeah, because she's not empty headed and actually can go and get her sh own shit and not have <laughs> to depend on other people to do it. Fucking, I'm over there, I'm just fucking, I'm laughing, because I know damn well that Bella is accepted by everyone at the fire station. They all love the absolute shit out of her, so she can go and grab... Say, huh? Yeah, she can go grab coffee, donuts, whatever that they have in there, uh, if there's any more, because Hannah's there and tries to eat all the fucking donuts. No, uh, Hannah usually tweets <laughs> up, exactly. saying the coffee and donuts. Exactly, so that's your fault. You don't save me any donuts, and I have an issue with that. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, it was kind of funny. Uh, but, yeah, Firehouse Coffee, guys. If you have a fire station next to you and that are open to having you try their coffee, do so, because it's delicious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck. All right. So, we actually have a little bit of time. Uh talk about the rest of these so i want to talk about king of seven speeding because that yeah. was funny so we're gonna go back uh in time a little bit we're gonna go back to the same day as the trailer park fire and the shots fired uh uh happening in an incident so that same day 
just a few hours later, I again am going back into Grapeseed as that is my jurisdiction. And I have uh, a police charger, 18 charger come flying by me. And I clocked it like 110 plus. I, of course, can't lock it because it, they go by me so fucking quick. I flip around and follow them. Of course, it ends up back in Sandy Shores at the gas station. I pull up, lights on, and I see that it's King 07. The exact person that I just shot uh, just a few hours before. So, he jumps out and he's like, bah, or Fox, just write me a ticket. It's okay, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I had to grab gas because... I'm at like 5%. And then he goes on just, oh yeah, I was at like 25%. I ended up taking a nap. Uh, basically, he went away from the computer. 10 minutes later, he's down at like 5%. He's like, I knew I had a chance. If I just gunned it, I'd be able to get to the gas station. And <laughs> the moment I saw you, I knew that you were going to try to, or that you were going to flip around. Sure, behold, you flipped around for me. <laughs> and so... Uh, we start chit-chatting, of course, because, uh, he's my higher-up, and there's no way in hell I would be like, Oh, yeah, I'm gonna get you for felony speeding, because, for <laughs> one, that's my fucking higher-up. He'd fire me right fucking then and there. Uh, but, and the fact that he had a damn good reason, because the last thing you want to do as an LAO or even fire is have to call for till <clears throat> because you ran out of fucking gas. Like, that is the most embarrassing thing ever to have happened, so... Him just gunning it to the fucking gas station to see if he could actually get it. And he did. It was actually kind of impressive. But I'm... Fucking... I'm chit-chatting with him. We had Frank come up. Uh, he's talking about bleach and shit. We had another fucking cop come up. Who's blaring fucking sirens through his voice mod. And we're over here going, God <laughs> damn, like, what in the New York State Police just fucking rolled up on us, so, uh, ended I up, yeah, exactly, but I ended up giving him just a warning, I'm just like, man, I already know who you are, I don't even need your license and blah blah blah, because I know exactly who you are, I can tell by your fucking license plate, uh, but yeah, I'm just like, man, just, go, just, go have fun, like, this is just a warning, uh, and he's like, man, I was gonna say, if I got a ticket from you on the same day I got shot by you, I would, I would have an issue. I'd be like, yeah, no, I'm sorry, okay? Like, shit. <laughs> oh, fuck. But that was a fun day. Uh, now I'm out, like, watching everyone. Because I want to I wanna either pull over a firefighter for dumb shit or another fucking cop. That's, like, my goal right now. <laughs> Hannah. Yeah, I know it's going to beat you, too, more than likely. Yep. Speeding. <laughs> Speeding, yeah, exactly. Um All right. God damn, we're only thirty minutes into this. Like today's gonna <laughs> be a short podcast, you guys. Cause we actually we've gone through this so uh quick. So that's actually really nice. So uh what's the next one? This will be our last one, by the way, as well, guys. What one do you want to talk about? I have not got a clue. Good, because we, we technically have three. Uh, yeah. One's a maybe topic, because it hits a little close. And then we have two others uh, that happen at the 24 and then O'Neill Farms. So, uh, yeah, what one? Mm. The broken jaw. Okay, so this is... That was a fun one. Yeah, this was actually one that I really wanted to talk about, and it kind of just fell down the list, because we uh, we had 10 topics. Uh, for you guys that wonder how we do this. So we have 10 topics, and then we only select 6 to actually talk about. Like, there are mingle uh, topics, and then the rest of them, the, like, 4 or whatever, um, we just kind of toss in if we have the time and today we actually have the time which is really cool because myself and hannah we actually have this shit down lock compared to the idiot podcast where we kind of just ramble off and we start fucking around so uh those actually are recorded for like two hours and or like an hour and a half and i come down to an hour for uh you guys are wondering 
how the idiot podcasts were done as well. And on that topic, we're not going to be doing the idiot podcast. Uh, I for a while, I don't know if it's even going to come back because uh, now uh, Coyote doesn't live around me anymore. Uh, Claudius is busy trying to get affiliated on Twitch, which is cool. I'm really hoping that he can do that. And like I said, Coyote's not around. He doesn't have a computer or anything, so he really can't do that either unless he drives over here. So, uh, Idiot Podcast yep. is on hold. Um, I'll try to get further information on the in Idiot Podcast for later, but as of right now, you guys have the After Hours Podcast that will fill in the holes that everyone knows we don't like. Uh, so, Broken Jaw. Um, I'll, I'll start this one out because this actually was a 911 when we didn't have a dispatcher. God damn! Wind tunnel! <laughs> but, uh, we get a call from, uh, I can't remember what, uh, Civ it was, but, um, back down into Sandy at the 24-7 there. Uh, I get on scene and it's just one party and I'm over here like, There's no secondary party, like, the fuck? And he's over here like, oh yeah, it's the local that's on the ground. Uh, he was assaulting me, and I'm like, oh shit, okay. So he's talking to me the whole time. I get fucking EMS to the scene, and at that point, he informs them that he had a fucking broken jaw. And if you guys have ever broken your fucking jaw, you know yeah. talking with a broken jaw is excruciating. Um, yep. So, don't know how the fuck the guy was able to condone him, or, like, compose himself enough to fucking talk with me about shit when his fucking jaws broke. So, uh, that was a really cool incident. Uh, give us the fire side of that call. Oh. Uh, <laughs> it wasn't pretty. <laughs> no, it wasn't pretty. Um... Can't remember what happened like that scene though. But there wasn't really much medical. It was just him no. saying that he, he had a broken jaw and basically you guys, I'm pretty sure, just kind of took him to the fucking hospital. <laughs> yeah, we just took him to like, uh, Sunday medical. Because it's like he wasn't like in pain. Well, of course you'd be in pain, but it's like we were... Hi, bird. <laughs> So I'm in my fucking background, I'm like, ooh, bird. Uh, but yeah, he just, there wasn't much medical, but the um, reason why we wanted to talk about this is just simply because it was a Civ versus local call, and we don't get many of those types of calls because Civs, either they'll um, do own their own fucking thing where they're the sole person getting in trouble doing the actions. So when we got a Civ versus local call, that was really cool because it was an RP without, of course, a secondary party, like an IRL secondary party, but he took uh, actions of the actual local that was in his store at that point and apparently got disgruntled with him and gave him a Leo 1 2, uh, which is <laughs> pretty funny for us, uh, not for him. <laughs> so, yeah, that was. Basically, this week, if you guys want to catch up, then you guys can. Uh, but you guys got basically the highlights of this week's uh, After Hours. Uh, just in a nutshell, from, of course, our two perspectives. I know, like normal, we have 20, 30 fucking calls a night sometimes. And we can't talk yep. about all of them because it would take us hours and hours and hours to be able to go over all of those. So, if you guys enjoy this kind of content with of course hannah and her wind tunnel that she has and stall in her bedroom uh <laughs> give us a like you guys uh likes comments and all that are really really appreciated especially on podcasts like this where it is new it's basically something i've never done like an actual like highlight podcast type of deal um and i know that if you guys like it i can push this to like mckeen isaac and all those guys and possibly even get those guys on here as well to talk with us as well. So, yeah, yeah that is going to be cool. Did I just Bye hear well. myself? The fuck? Hello? 
<laughs> Jesus, is that you? Uh, but yeah, any closing deals you want to talk about, Miss Hannah? Nah, not for that one, are we? Okay, so you guys, with that said, we are going to get out of here. Thank you guys all for joining, and we will see you all next week on Monday for a live stream. If you guys do like this uh, enough that you guys want to see more, we'll be doing them on Mondays as live streams. We didn't do one yesterday just simply because I was dead to the world, basically a zombie, and I ended up just kind of falling asleep. So, yeah. You sure you don't have anything, Hannah? No. No? Okay, cool. Oh. So, you guys, we will see you. Maybe I'll see you next time. Take care.